text in form of acts that has been instructed by those two. We would love to have them joined in this matter, depending on the attitudes between the two parties relating to their tradition. It should determine then how long can this process be found out. If, for example, there is not there's a consent for them to be provided to take shots than the participants. And the process of expectation started to test the definition. As the first process which it was the request for them to be arrested. Then they appear in court. Now we have a, a maximum of 30 days to finalize in between what happens. As I said, should there be no objection on the side of those that should, uh, should be provided, it might take longer than two months. But if there is no there is an objection, then it might take us, of course, depending on how the case is developed in the courts in that time. At this stage, uh, we are not in a position to indicate to the court as to how long, depending, of course, as I said earlier on, whether the objection or the petition for them to be accepted. But you say that he's a legal representative of the accused Western neighboring country. She is one of the relevant sitting here. We have had an informal discussion on that issue. I would love to place them in court as if that is the very. But we have had some, some discussion informally, and it appears that the period might be shorter than that. For those reasons, then, Lordship, that is our request. I have been approached by my dear friends relating to the issue of their intention to bring an application to the Muslim day. And the state has indicated to all my dear friends that we will be opposing the application, should they be opposed. I'd like to hear from my name of friends. What do you think? Stephen, your worship, uh, in light of the information that has been given before, uh, may I approach my country with the information? The accused may be seated. May I then approach your worship, please? That's my name of friends. Excuse me, I'll be informed by my colleague that I was looking at the chart sheet and looking at the few of the ones that are sent and presented as quarters, members of forms and members of the rest of the forms. And they were looking at the I was looking at the same of the forms. I was looking at the same of the forms. I don't want to go to the same of the forms. I don't want to go to the same of the forms. of the state is that the state is going to oppose pain in the event of it being caught. 
5. Now, the question then says, are the accused intending to bring an application to be released on bail? Mr. Zamin. Fine. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Gilling, Mr. Jefferson. Fine. So then we can move on to the question that was raised. Uh, on the list of the charges, I indicated counts two and three are uh, in terms of for uh, that section two to one subsection one of the criminal law of the act, thereby classifying those charges as being still six. Now, Schedule 6 indicates that the worship has to order the detention of the accused until the final of the It's not within my right to do that. It's the court that's okay. The jurisdiction order the detention until they apply to this court to finish business as to why should be required. Answer to the question by Mr. Amin is for the court to exercise its right. The question of one is exercise for the status of the city. As to the reasons I have mentioned in the there is no application at this stage. I do not feel it is compliant for the state to state the reasons for an application to be made. There must be an application, there is no. Listen to the application, we hear the reasons for the application, and then decide. But I say, speak to one of the reasons will be like this. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Sir. <coughs> uh, we will open the air. We will make such a question that we will have a lot of people in the session. This being a shift in six months, in itself, that is where the answer will be. And that is where the answer will be. But the wording of Section 6, of, of Section 60, Subsection 11 is very clear. Yes. Okay, what is the proposed date? We anticipated that uh, this kind of an application might be brought and for, for in preparation thereof, we have a request that the first and fifth accused be detained and charged for a period of seven months. Now, I'm not sure whether that now, in a way, given indication to my friends as to whether we need to be proposed. Or, my other suggestion is we have a short agreement to approach the machine and chambers, when you can come back and confirm it, rather than to speak, rather than to the other, or the court can give us any indication. Okay, let, 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 let's not confuse the issues. Your initial application is for postponement for further investigation. Yes. Right. And there is an indication now by the defense that they are going to bring an application for the accused to be released on bail. That's right. So let's not confuse the issues. If the accused are to bring in their application, the fact that there is investigation outstanding, is it not going to affect the application per se? Not, not necessarily. Not, not, not necessarily. <laughs> the, the fact of them bringing the application will 
not in our ever want to do in so far as the main case is concerned. Bearing in mind as to the nature and the agency of the application that the team will make. Well, then in that case, I, I propose that perhaps we take a short adjournment and look at our diaries and uh, agree on a date for the application. Um, I agree firstly, and yes. But my concern at the back of my mind is, are we, going, are we not going to have a situation where we are going to have a piecemeal application? seeing that there are two other out, uh, accused that are outstanding still out of the country? The, the issue is, as of now, we have this fight. Before So, we have the two issues there. As and when the other two join, if they join in the middle of a bill application or whatever the case may be, Unfortunately, I cannot make any submission to this court of what to do because those two are not yet So we can deal with the fact. And before I I I the motion, I've been given a very smiling face by the time to see. You have not given me opportunity to do my job. We apologize. We apologize. Yes. <laughs> themselves. There is, there is no reason that has been advanced why they should cover themselves. Yes. one of uh, the issues that need to be in investigated and the state has indicated that no. So then there is no reason for the accused to cover themselves because there is no pending identification uh, parade that, 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 that is to take place. At this stage, you know, the investigation is ongoing. So I would submit to be the deterrent side of the motion. But of course, it is your wishes. of uh, any safety so we can go and have and I would ask the ladies and gentlemen of the media not to take photos whilst the court is proceeding but before or after the proceedings right thank you
for the record, in chambers we agreed that uh, the matter is going to be postponed provisionally for bail verification until the 6th of uh, June, 6th of uh, March, and thereafter until the 14th, 18th, and 19th, and thereafter the 27th. And it is your proposal that uh, for bail verification purposes, accused 1 and 5 be kept at Chatsworth Police Station. Okay, accused one, five. One. four and five, and then the other accused two and three. There was a concern whilst we're in chambers that uh, it's not easy for the defense to consult when the accused are in Westville. Are you comfortable, gentlemen, from uh, the defense that accused three and, and two and three be kept at Westville? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that the, the question was raised, Mr. Uh, am I that uh, the accused be kept at uh, police stations for pain verification purposes, thereafter they can go to prison? Should they all go to Chatsworth Police Station? So accused two and three are already in prison for other matters and to, to, to take them out of the prison and what the RJ just said that makes sense. Unfortunately we cannot help you gentlemen in as far as that is concerned. that uh, accused in the fall has a concern or complain that he's not treated well at the Chatsworth police station, then he is encouraged to take it up with uh, the commander there and uh, the investment officer. Thank you. 
On the 6th of March, the matter will then come before court again for bail application purposes. On uh, the 14th of uh, March, on the 14th of March, it will then be postponed to the 18th and 19th of uh, March. It is foreseeable that uh, we won't be able to finalize the matter on these two days. It will then be postponed to the 27th of March. For bail application purposes. So it's postponed now to the 6th of March for bail verification purposes. On the 6th of March, it will be postponed to the 14th of March when we will commence with the bail application. We won't finish on the 14th of March, that is foreseeable. It will then on the 14th of March be postponed to the 18th and 19th of March. And we foresee that we will not be able to finalize the matter on those two days. And then on the 19th, we will then postpone to the 27th of uh, March. This is according to the availability of legal representatives of the, of the accused and the prosecution team. Uh, 